Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and this is a recipe demo of risotto milanese, or saffron risotto, from the James Beard Foundation. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. This is so elegant. I already have two risottos on this channel, plus a barley version and a buckwheat version. And this is just something else. Saffron is ridiculously fragrant and special, and if you're here, you don't need me to tell you about it. It's a gorgeous color, although my version doesn't show that because um, I overbrowned my onions, which really mucked up that signature saffron yellow gold, but it still tasted fabulous. So I can't wait to make it again. So let's just jump in. With risotto, you always use hot stock. So take a ladle full of hot broth and steep your saffron in it. We only need a pinch of saffron, which is just enough to fit between the pads of your pointer finger and thumb. You may wanna take a muddler or the back of a spoon and really smush the saffron into the piping hot liquid to release the color and flavor as much as possible. And we've got our other ingredients, a quarter cup of white wine and nine tablespoons of butter divided into six tablespoons and three tablespoons and Parmesan cheese. Now, I like to freeze white wine in ice cubes so I can measure out exactly how much I need without having to buy wine every time I wanna cook with it. We need to finely dice a small onion. I had shallots on hand, so I use that. In a heavy saucepan, melt six tablespoons of butter over medium heat. When it starts to bubble, but not brown, add the diced onions and season with salt and pepper. I should have turned down the heat just a tad because this is some pretty ferocious butter and it ends up making my shallots really browned, which unfortunately affected the color of my risotto. You, however, will saute the onions until they are soft and translucent about seven to 10 minutes. Then add in one cup of risotto rice and stir it around to coat the grains with the butter. Then pretty quickly add the wine and stir until it reduces and is nearly evaporated. Add a ladle or two of hot stock and stir until the rice absorb, absorbs nearly all of the stock. Your heat should still be on medium. Now, in total, you need four cups of hot stock for this recipe. This ladle is a half cup size, so I'm putting about a cup of stock for each phase. In the meantime, I'm gonna start grating my cheese. In general, I like to keep blocks of cheese around rather than a container of grated or shredded cheese because if the block of cheese gets some type of growth on it, I can just cut off that part. But if grated or shredded cheese gets growth, you have to throw out the whole thing. So this just seems like I can conserve more cheese this way. You'll have to stir the risotto to figure out when the liquid has absorbed because it will look like the liquid is still there while your bottom is burning. So keep an eye on that. At this point, add a couple more ladles of stock and stir, letting the rice soften and release its starches and absorb the stock. Now from start to finish, this process took about 20 minutes for me. And look at this gorgeous consistency. Hopefully yours isn't as caramel brown as mine. And once you're out of hot stock, add in the saffron infused stock and stir it in well until it's combined and the color is evenly distributed. It should look like gold. And once that's absorbed, stir in the remaining three tablespoons of butter and three quarters of a cup of the cheese and stir that to combine. Now the consistency you want is grains that are soft and creamy and yet separate. This is an ideal side dish for steak or fish or just by itself, which is how I devoured it immediately. And that is it for this recipe demo of risotto milanese. Get the ingredient list below or at cookingcompaniontv.com slash saffron risotto. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to this channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.